Ah, oh, man. I'm right. already uh, floor two, dog. I'm gonna do a different Judas seed now. Oh my god. Just play it. Just, you can do it, man. I don't enjoy I, that seed. It wasn't I, fun. You gave me the seed. Don't be popping this uh, Azazel shit and then you're uh, just. Oh, I would have won like the Azazel seed. run. Of course you would have won the Azazel <laughs> run. You can win every Azazel run without picking up any items. Oh, do I get to pick a new tournament? Because maybe Brawlhalla would be a fun one to do. Or maybe that would be Rob's. Brawlhalla could be fun, yeah. Actually, I would probably pick Mount Your Friends if I want to pick anything. Yeah, well, you don't get to pick because you pick Goofball. That's what Dan, no, Dan says. Dan Goofball. That's what Dan says. Yeah, Caspian Crawdad says it, I think. Check the website, man. Dude has serious, amazingly, like, full insight on the concept <laughs> of move or die statistics. I'm aware, yeah. He's been... Putting numbers in front of slashes and then in front of other numbers and creating uh, he wrote you know, fractions. Paragraphs and paragraphs. He wrote a full on essay about our I'm stats aware. at the mid season. I'm aware of this. I just want credit where credit's due. It's a lot of work. Dan says Nick picked goofball. That's what Bear said. I don't know who said anything anymore. Oh, I like this one is better. Nine tenths of the law, man. I can't believe you just scummed it up and started playing another. I got scene, a Halo man. first item now. Oh, you got a good item in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. I guess that means it's a better seed. Fuck you, man. <laughs> the seeds that are better are seeds where there's, you know, more strife. Who nope. wants to see a one run? This shit happens all the time. Thank you, TSXP, for the subscription. I appreciate it. T-Tours is not toxic shit. T-Tours is how we say I love you in Twitch language. T-Tours is straight up toxic shit. You got a double standard, man. How's it a double standard? Nobody can talk about bad rats. Here. Nobody can talk about bad rats in your chat, but if... if you know, it's no third section. If it's third section time, then just spam T tours in Northern Lions chat. You, you don't spam have T tours in my chat. I don't care chat. at all. Don't even. Don't give him the satisfaction of doing what he wants. Whatever he says, do the opposite. And, except if he knows that he's going to be. Uh, <laughs> he knows that you're going to do that. So you got to use your own judgment to determine if he's trying to use reverse psychology on you. Only use your own judgment if you have seven or more cents. That's what I say. I don't follow that rule. You might get an HP up out of it. Only use your own judgment if you have a little bit of money or there's a better cart that is more useful on the next floor. Or you got some red hearts that you can maybe use to, uh, you know, play a demon judgment with if a demon judgment spawns. But beware that uh, if you have an eternal heart, you probably want to hold on to your judgment until it matures and matriculates into a, uh, a full HP upgrade on the next floor. Lion beware, you're in for a scare. There's a Goosebumps movie coming out, man. I hope it has Shrek in it. Have you seen that one video with Shrek? Where Shut he's in the up Goosebumps Mansion? about Shrek for for one day. Can we go one day without talking about DreamWorks number one animated property? It just reminded me of how spooky that was when the dog whispers in his ear and he's like, I'm Shrek. All right. I, I don't know what you're talking That's about. That's right. Sneaky Columbus, thank you very much for the subscription. Oh, this run's so good. Chat, I'm not so taping... glad I abandoned it. Yeah, thank God you got that run instead of getting this run where there's Epic Fetus, which you could have just won with in two item. freaking seconds. But I'm not taking Epic Fetus, chat. Chat wants me to take Epic Fetus. I took Epic Fetus very recently. You say it's 100 episodes ago. It was not 100 episodes ago. It's probably like 20. You can't even count to 100. Wow. <laughs> That's just rude. <laughs> it's a little rude. Sorry, chat. You could probably count to 100. You just can't even Epic... count to 1,000. Epic Fetus is so effing boring to watch. Watch your language. Um, that uh, I'm gl I hope you don't listen to the rest of these fuckboys. Oh, there's no danger. Everyone knows Northern Line doesn't look at chat, so I don't have to. I don't have to subject myself to the whims of their their desires. Oh, I've never seen Epic Fetus before. That's a thing that happens. Wow, I didn't know that was possible. Epic Fetus shows up every run, man. It's been around for a while too. It's back in vanilla too. Yeah, it was the Thrilla in vanilla. It's a decent item in that it pretty much gives you an instant win. That's my ideal run: Epic Fetus, Stopwatch. Just just good balanced items. I got the blood clot and a halo so far as Judas. Is that supposed to be like impressive? I mean it's the first floor, so yeah, it's a little bit. It's alright, I guess. Thank I mean, you, I Quizzical got... Upnod for the subscription. Had the opportunity to get the packed and uh Epic Fetus on this run. This one's not looking so bad either. Yeah, but Epic Fetus is just boring. I agree with that. That's what your chat said. Wholeheartedly. Now, chat's, chat thinks Epic Fetus is like the greatest item of all time, apparently. It actually, it might be oh, a contender. Sweet. Piercing shots. 
could be a contender for the greatest item of all time. It's just kind of boring. Peripheral Visionary, thank you very much for the subscription. Much appreciated. Have you played any more Bloodborne lately, or...? Yeah, it started my series. It's gonna start going live, uh, tomorrow. That's cool. Yeah. I'm excited. It's going pretty well so far, as well as can be expected anyway. I got to a part you? of the game that just, like, made the game get a lot better, so I'm, like, real hype about playing more of it now. Yeah, man, I believe it. I'm still curious what the hell you were talking about in the podcast, though, where there's, like, a weird Duke's Archives situation. I mean, don't totally spoil it, obviously, happens. but... Yeah, well, I believe you, I just don't know what that it was. I haven't gotten to it, I guess. Yeah, well, you know, it exists, man. I promise. I'm curious. I, I promise you it exists. Chat, you're gonna get a fucking timeout. I'm not blaming Nick for this one. I don't even know what that is. They're trying to count to 100 because you said they couldn't count to 100. Oh. I didn't mean that's, that as a challenge. Look, that one's not <laughs> your I fault, But I should have. <laughs> that one's not your fault. I, I will exercise some judgment. Oh, did you have seven cents? Sometimes you deliberately try to fuck with chat. I think that one is probably an accidental, uh, accidental anarchy. It happens from time to time. I think he's your awakening for six months in a row. I like your chat. I'd hang out with him at PAX. Would you? Yeah. I mean, I probably would as well, but I'm stuck with them, man. It's like family. They're like the good kind of family, though. They're I mean, like they the kind of family <laughs> that gets drunk and like throws up on your floor, but then like it feels kind of bad about it. That's not a good kind of family at all. Oh, what is it then? What the the, the only everything about that situation is bad, except for the part where they feel bad. I don't I don't care if you feel bad. Don't do it. I mean, don't throw up on his floor. I didn't say yeah. you should, but, like, they're the people who would do it. You got you got some low standards if that's your definition of, uh, of being a nice person. I said they'd feel person. bad about it. What more do you want? They tried how to about, get to the toilet. They didn't make it. How about the kind of family that, that means well, but occasionally they act somewhat selfishly, but, uh, you know, they're always there for you when you need it. They meme well. I know that much. You're memeing pretty well right now, my friend. I didn't even notice that there was a deal with the devil in here. I like how we're having, oh, a non amount five. My chat started counting too. Thank God. Well, you, you pretty much started it, even if you didn't mean to, so I think that's deserved. Who was that last? Peripheral Vision? Did I shout you out yet? Thank you. Chat's kind of going fast now that we're doing counting chat, so. That's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> right. <laughs> You watch out, Lynn Mac will ban all your asses. She means it. She's serious. Yeah? Mm hmm Well, you, you're instigating this shit. Get ready, man. It's coming for you next. I can't control all the mods. Brother? Togasm. Thank you for the sub as well. Oh, geez. Sub only came off and immediately... Yo, bring that shit over to Nick's chat. He said he could handle it. I don't think they'd go over here anyway. It's too boring. I just play as Azazel. Yo, don't let his reverse psychology <laughs> fool you. Go over there, but pause the video player. Oh my god. And then spam chat. <laughs> what is this devil deal with his bullshit three red chests? Don't do that. Is this like, this is what this run is becoming now? Is who has the better seed? I, like I don't it. know, man. This seed's looking pretty good. Oh, good teleport. Oh, goat head. I like that item. It's not that good. Just blow up a beggar every floor and you get a... You pretty much have the goat head right there. Oh, wait, I have Book of Belial, so actually it really isn't that good of an item. <laughs> I, I forgot. forgot about... I forgot about that, too. When I fought the last boss, I was like, Oh, a devil deal? That's a huge <laughs> surprise. I got one on the last floor. That happens to me all the time. You're so lucky. <laughs> it's like, wow, that's like a... That's like a 25% chance. It's real low. All right, I take it back, chat. You know what? You can actually count to 100. And I do love you too, Speznuts. I think it's too late, man. You know, you're, you're, you're punching a hole in the dam, and then when the water starts flowing, you're going, oh, I didn't you mean it. Just stick your finger in the dike when there's a hole in the dam. You think that's a learned reference? We've all taken Dutch history here. I know you have. I don't know about chat. Nick, my run just got polyphemus, so... 
All right, you wait. I'm gonna get Polyphemus to you then. <laughs> okay, I'm one one item away from becoming Guppy. That's not a big deal. Well, it seems pretty good. I got BFF and Hive Mind. Pretty much everybody I know is Guppy all the time. I've actually I've become Guppy quite a lot recently. That's why they're getting rid of the nine lives item, so it's balanced better. People have actually believed that. No, nobody believed that. No, there's been some messages in chat. Are they really getting rid of nine lives? <laughs> That's adorable. I love that people think that I might have, like, a secret bit of exclusive information about the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. They're not getting rid of nine lives. That's Don't a lot of power for me to have. You know what's really cool about Polyphemus is that when it travels through an enemy, the tier changes size based on how much damage is actually left. I think it's based on how much damage is yeah. actually left then. No, I think you're right. So it'll be, it's I have like a huge indicator. shot, and then when it, it hits an enemy, it becomes like a little tiny, like, soy milk shot. It's adorable. Yeah. Thank you, Dare Damon, for the subscription. That's your first month, so I appreciate you joining up. Is it Demon or Damon? How do you say the EA thing? That's like a circle jerk thing. We talked about it on the show. I think it's pronounced Demon, but there have been people that have told me it is Damon. But like, I think. Like, people have the name Damon, right? So. Yeah, Does that count too? Yeah, I mean, Damon is pronounced Damon. You're not wrong about that. But why don't we apply that same logic to other things later? I just got Monstro's Lung, so I'm that's my Polyphemus, I guess. Polyphemus is better, man. Okay. And now, how do you pronounce... I pronounce it uh, Caramel. We in, in the real West, we don't say Caramel. Caramel. We say Caramel. There's really not a lot of other options. We also don't call it a Rudy Tooty Point and Shooty. We call it a gun. We call it our best friend. <laughs> we call it Jennifer. Shitty? Holy fuck. Why do you put up with this other guy who's holding you back? Ah. <laughs> Come on. That's not an item I can really use. Headless baby. Oh, it looks like shit got real in chat. I see some timeouts happening. Oh, no. Rip, chat. Who could have suspected? It's pronounced Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. Exactly. And thank you, Spez Nuts, for the six months in a row. Sorry, I'm a little behind on things here. Postal Legion! This has been a very strong sub trade today. Thank you very much, Postal Legion. I can't eat normal spaghetti, but I can eat you. You can't eat normal spaghetti? No, I can. It's just a thing that we say now. Oh, alright. I'm sorry I asked. You don't have to be sorry, it's okay. You could not eat normal spaghetti either if you want. I'm not a huge spaghetti fan, but I've been coming around to the, the pasta family, man. Have a nice like, spicy meatball. I mean, that's not really a pasta. It's an accoutrement at times, yeah, I Yeah, throw it on top of that pile of spaghetti. I'm a, like a, like a ravioli. Yeah, sign me up. Like a delicate ravioli, maybe with some pumpkin inside and some butter on top? Butter, yes. I'm not much of a, a pumpkin guy. If I'm going to have pumpkin in a ravioli, is kind of my best, uh, nice my best option. Squash. I'm not into that that family that much. You know when you get like tempura and they give you like some weird ass gourds and shit. I've never like, had tempura. I want to though. You fucking never had tempura, dog. You dropped the ball when I came to visit you. Apparently. What the <laughs> hell? No, that's like, I had no idea. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get it next time. Tempura is like the the McDonald's of, of Japanese cuisine. I'm surprised. I don't have a lot of access to Japanese cuisine, unfortunately, but I would definitely like to have some, for sure. All right, well, I, my analogy makes, like, no sense, then. All right, that's fine. Oh, I didn't get an aw oh, yeah for my sub. Oh Mai's, yeah. Mai's plushy, or May's plushy. Up down to the side, welcome to the Lion Pride. Newport Niced Man. Is that, like, <laughs> the, the Texas Nasty Man, yeah, but from a different place? Know. New Haven Nasty Man. I like that. Thank you New, very much. New Haven Connecticut Nasty Man. We really talked about that for quite a while, didn't we? I got some tweets about it. Good. You deserve They're it. Like, they were like, here's my interpretation of what would be the best kind of nasty man. What would it be? Well, I mean, that's up to the person in question, isn't it? Hmm. Tempura equals McDonald's? You're out of your fucking mind. I'm not saying there's not some artistry in it. and You should know that I have some reverence for McDonald's. I always talk about the, the great work that the food scientists have done... Uh, in engineering their food products to taste so delicious. I'm what not do you think even... is the best thing that McDonald's has ever done? Chicken McNuggets, absolutely. Not the sauce you put on them. 
Not they don't chicken get, selects. They don't get credit for, for inventing barbecue sauce. Yeah, but the combination could never exist without the nuggets. I don't know if that's necessarily true. You could never have a McDonald's chicken nugget and barbecue sauce without the chicken McNugget. How do you even refute that? That's a tautology. There's I know. It's no, no way to refute it. That by definition. That's why you don't refute it. I'm right. Definition makes it invalid. <laughs> However, <laughs> chicken McNuggets. Chicken McNuggets equal tasteless white filth. In my chat, don't filth? use don't use white as an insult. Okay, whether you're talking about the color of a food or all of the spectrums of, of hues what combined is together in prison. Also, if you ever so insult Chicken McNuggets again, I'm going to get Ray Kroc. The ghost of Ray Kroc is going to haunt your bitch ass for the rest of your yeah, you're fucking You're going to get life. a crocodile ghost. It'll be too long. To come Ray Kroc is not a crocodile, but he'll still snap the jaws of death around your <laughs> Johnson. Does that mean he's a wrestler or a porn star? He is actually just the or like, owner of McDonald's when it expanded like crazy. So both. Quite an incredible business type. works. What the heck is a chicken biscuit? Oh, I want that. They sell that at, at the McDonald's in the UK? Maccas? I like things with biscuits, actually. I didn't realize that sausage gravy and a biscuit would be such a good thing together, but it's really good. Yeah, man. Absolutely. The idea of just, like, having a breakfast centralized around gravy sounds like a weird idea at first, but I got into it. I take issue with the idea that, you know, people are always like, oh, you know, we'll just do that, and then if this works out, then it's gravy. Yo, the gravy is the best part of the whole package. You should That's be why saying... That's it's got its own train. You should be saying, you know, we'll do this, and if the rest works out, it's mashed potatoes. Choo-choo! All aboard the gravy train of Flavortown. You're invited. You know, there's a, a Canadian show that's basically uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. Kate and I found it on the Food Channel. The Food Network, I should say. It's not just a channel, it's an MCN related to food. And Are other... you ODing on it right now? It's called You Gotta Eat Here. And it's exactly the same sh In the intro, though, you know, Guy Fieri, not the biggest fan of him, but he is a, he's a cook, bare minimum. <laughs> the guy that does the <laughs> intro for this show, he goes, I'm not a chef, but I know good food when I taste it. Who the fuck doesn't, man? That's not a skill. Uh... I'm not you a chef. insulted, like, all cuisine critics around the world. This guy is not a cuisine critic. He's not saying, ooh, you know, it's got great mouthfeel. He just goes, oh, 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 those tacos. You gotta eat here. Dude, that's like what I do for indie games pretty much, so I'm with him. Yeah, but this guy's probably getting paid more. Is my <laughs> <laughs> Zing. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm all right he's, on a, he's on a Canadian cable network show, man. Right. Do you think that they'd take me on a Canadian network? Show? Almost certainly not, no. That sucks. You should move. I don't think they put you on American TV either. They should you should move to a country where they would put me on their cable network. Alright, when you found that country, I will <laughs> consider looking at their immigration policies. <laughs> I'm just saying this guy's not qualified. Oh fuck. He must have nailed the interview though. Like, oh, you like a chef or something? He's like, no. <laughs> Have you been in movies or like, I was in like a, a Rogers commercial once. And I, oh shit, your elevator guy loses cell phone coverage, man. Maybe you I just never... said I know what I like, and they were like, "That's exactly what we're looking for. We don't want somebody who knows too much. We want you to be replaceable, essentially." I think probably the way that it actually went down is that in the interview they were like, "All right, eat this food. What do you think about it?" And he's like, oh, that's fucking awesome. And then other candidates were like, oh, it's kind of good, but, you know, it's a little too salty for me. Blah. They just want some he's guy. He's enthusiastic enough. Exactly. They just want some guy who's like, all right, he's not going to ask questions. That's kind of what I was saying, too. Like, they just want him to be easily replaceable in case he has any problems. Yeah. And now, why did you take te petrified poop and not shoot the poop? I have 39 goddamn cents. I'm not going to shoot the poop yet. The poop some... might have something better than 39 cents in it. Yeah, I could get to 42 cents. Exactly. And with 42 cents, I could still fight greed in this last remaining shop and buy nothing. Demon Donate to my donation machine that I've already maxed out. 
while away my life shooting the poop for a brief serotonin release to distract us from the fact that we're all going to be food for worms someday. You don't know that for a fact. I think that we're the last generation that's going to die, Nick. We went over this before. I know. It, it still it freaks me out, man. But you said that as if we're all going to die. You don't know that necessarily people in chat, they might not. I think you and I are part of the last generation for which death yeah. is going to be a common reality. For sure. I'm sure we are going to die a lot. We're going to die constantly. But the people that are after us, like that were born 2000 and after, they might be safe. It's possible, but they're not part of the same generation, man. It, you know, generation is normally like 40 years, but I think we can make an exception for the generation for which eternal life becomes reality. They, they, they're part of the eternal generation. That's a sweet-ass generation to be named. It's a great name. I'm not going to deny that in the least. That'll really screw up the other generations later, though. You think so? Like, being alive forever means it's kind of hard to tell, like, where one group starts and the other finishes. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for demographers when eternal life and, you know, never dying becomes a reality. I worry about their jobs. I wouldn't. Why? Because they'll be alive forever? And yeah, they they'll find be better jobs? They'll be alive forever, man. They can learn a new skill. They got the time. But you don't know if maybe your body still deteriorates. Operating under the assumption that... Uh, you know, living forever involves some kind of, like, reverse aging procedure or at least halts the effects of aging. It could be that after you get to a certain point, they inject I'm you, I'm not right? having this freaking could-be discussion with you, mister. They there inject you in the arm, and then you start to reverse age, and then when you get to be young, then it's fine again, and then you just grow old again. They just There's the real injection. science involved here. We don't need to be having this could-be discussion, man. Speaking of immigration policies, NL, did you have problems getting Kate into Canada before you got married? Not nah, because she is Canadian. So <laughs> it was really easy, actually. I was really curious how you're going to handle that question when I. <laughs> <laughs> like, how much is he going to lay into this one? <laughs> it was it was surprisingly easy. They were really cool about two Canadian citizens getting married. Yeah, I bet they are. All right, so people keep telling me you can use Dad's key to open up Boss Rush. Do maybe it. I, maybe I fucked it up there, but it, it's not true. To the best of my knowledge, did not seem to work there. I've actually been told that before, and doesn't actually work. So I maybe maybe you can it. use it to get out of Boss Rush after the door closes in on you when you pick up an item. I'll buy that. The other way, though, not so much. I've got 97 bombs. That's quite a few. I should use some. How's your run going, Nick? On this competition of great seeds? Fairly successfully, I'd say. Got 95 bombs. That's one thing. That's pretty good. I got a Polyphemus. I'm Guppy. I got Dad's Key. I'm going to fight Mega Satan. Uh, in addition to being Guppy, I got freaking Hive Mind BFF. All right. That's cool. I guess. I'm in your house, just subscribed. That would be surprising. I'd be I'd be unhappy about it. Oh, now I've got 93 keys. Look at that. 93 keys is pretty good. I have substantially less bombs than I did a moment ago. Yeah, Guppy's tail? That'd be real nice. You can use Dad's key to get in your mama. <laughs> it is kind of like a key, to be honest. Like the key to eternal life. Is, it, is that your dad's dick is the key to <laughs> eternal life? <laughs> maybe. It was, maybe right under our, it was right under our noses all this time. <laughs> Uh, probably shouldn't be under your nose. Don't tell me what to do. You should probably not have your dad's dick under your nose right now. I'm not gonna tell Chad. You can do whatever you want as long as it's between two consenting adults. Probably shouldn't have your dad's dick under your nose. Nick's gonna try to tell you how to live your life, but I have more respect for you than that. All right, Northern Lion advocates putting your dad's dick. Didn't under say your nose. that. Didn't say that. That's intellectual dishonesty, my <laughs> friend. I just said if, if both parties are cool with it, doesn't bother me. I don't have to, you know, as long as they're not broadcasting it live into my neurons, doesn't bother me in the least. Ah, that'll be later, after you get your body converted into energy and sucked into a freaking computer system. I'm telling you, man, that's what's going to happen after the singularity, man. There's going to be viruses that actually, like, affect your brain, like computer viruses, and one of them's going to be, they're just going to show you naked pictures of your dad. Oh You're gonna be like, oh, on. I got the naked pictures of my dad virus again. Dad, where did these naked pictures come from? 
What's great is since your dad only exists in a computer realm reality, they'll be able to get photos of him anytime in any oh, yeah. pose. Just using his own eyes as the camera. Yep. Because if you can see something out of a camera, you can also see back in. Fuck, man. Maybe it's a good thing we're going to be the last generation to I, die. This... Now you're on my level. <laughs> yeah, this sounds... You don't want to die the way that people in the future die, because it's not pleasant. It sounds dystopian, man. We haven't even thought up all the options for how dystopia could occur. Uh, you're, you're right about we that. We don't even have the, po the proper you know, nuance to our way of looking at life to see how we could die eventually. Yeah, we're, we're fucking ancient relative to the people who are going to live forever, man. Freaking ignorance is bliss. Yeah, man. Cypher. Cypher. Let's, let's quote the, the main Prime. villain. Well, maybe not the main villain, but we'll hack <laughs> there. Dude, we'll, uh... just wanted steak, though. You just wanted steak and wine, steak man. Steak and wine. It's not a big deal. And probably yes. to have sexual intercourse with he Carrie Ann Moss. did have that also. That's a little bit more in the in the subtext. That's in the director's cut, a.k.a. Speed Racer. They did show part of it, didn't they? Or did they just not even give it to him? I think they just fucked him over, didn't they? You're talking about the woman in the red dress? Yeah, I thought they gave him all the things he wanted. He was like, oh, the woman in the red dress. You like, I made her. The implication is that they all cyber fucked the woman in the red dress. There's no question about that. He, uh, all he could see anymore was blondes, brunettes, and redheads. So, like, his eyes were basically fucked at that point. Yeah, they sh really shouldn't have let him on that, that ship. Like, I feel like having, it's like being a fighter pilot, you know? Having good eyesight is pretty integral there. Like, they won't even let you fly if you're colorblind, so if all you see is, like, figures, I don't know. They won't let you be a passenger on the plane if you're colorblind. Yep. Not even a passenger. I disagree with that legislation, personally, but... Uh, they don't even allow you in the airport anymore if you need to pick up a loved one. Sorry. <laughs> You're fucked. Get out. They actually do a test at the door now when you come in. Yeah? It's really demeaning, honestly. I mean, they already check out your colon every time and, like... There's actually... There's a Canadian show called Border Security that takes place in BC, and yeah. it's basically just, like... At Vancouver Airport, Dong Mustache. Thank you very much for the Dong subscription. Dong Mustache, by the way. <laughs> right under our noses the whole time. <laughs> that's perfect. They, that's probably what they were expecting. Um, it's basically like they're at Vancouver Airport, and they're like, "This shitbag tried to get in, but he's got cocaine all over his lips." And then uh, I guess I might as well My take it. And now, and then um, the guy's like, "Well, you have cocaine on your lips," and he's like, "No, I don't." <laughs> and like, well, I can see the cocaine <laughs> on your lips, and he's like, "Nope." Never, uh, I've never done a drug in my life. It's a great show. It's on at 2 a.m. on the National Geographic channel. Consider giving it a shot. Hey, thanks, Mike999UK for the subscription. Just want to say that. And TomatoBob16 for six months in a row. Um, so I'm in a weird position right now in my run where I don't actually know what the best course of action is. All right. And what's happening is I'm in a devil deal room. I've got one red heart. And I have the option for two red hearts to get a nail the scythes or a, uh, a razor blade, which obviously I don't want that. So does the nail kill me if I take that? I, doesn't it give you hearts automatically? Wait, okay, you're one red heart. One How many red spirit heart. hearts? None. This is all of my life is one red heart. And you got no, no ability to come back? Nothing. Oh yeah, the nail will straight up kill you. Oh, I thought it gave you a heart or something. What floor are you on, Nick? Uh, depths, uh, Necropolis 1. Probably one. I'm going to kill Mega Satan, and then I'm going to do an Azazel run. Ah, that sounds fun. So I guess I'll just leave then. Yeah, you can't take it. You'll die. I really wish I could have taken sides. Every one of those kills me. Okay. Please make Isaac the new Smash Bros. character. All right, I'll get on it. Nintendo's a big fan of YouTubers like myself, so I think they'll listen. <laughs> The whole freaking thing that's like, leave our feedback about who you want in Smash Brothers, I don't really think there's any point to that, because all it's doing is basically confirming who guessed correctly of the Nintendo uh, higher-ups that said what they wanted in Smash Brothers, and could require licensing for. I don't... I'm pretty sure that people are like, let's get Super Meat Boy in uh, Smash Bros, and Nintendo's like, we meant what Nintendo character did you... They oh. meant what we've already picked and approved yeah. and got licensing for. <laughs> exactly. So you just guessed correctly if that's what you did. It would be cool if it actually, if, if it worked and there were like some other characters added to Smash Bros. That would actually, I'd, how can you be sent to, or uh, how can you be cynical about that? Can't. However, my my thinking is we've tallied the votes and uh, 
Turns out that the next character added to Smash Bros. is ancillary character from our next first party game coming out. What a what a strange Pretty surprise. Weird. He's I a, voted uh, for John from Cena. Fire that Emblem would... Cross Shin Megami Tensei. That would actually be awesome if, if John Cena was in <laughs> Smash Bros. Macho Man Randy Savage. They specifically claimed they did not mean any Nintendo character. Yo, you think... Never tell me the facts. That's basically what I'm trying to say. I agree. Allow, no facts allow me allowed. to continue my circle jerking here. No facts allowed. St. Bernard's are full of milk. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious Dr. D. Thank you for the subscription as well. And Dog and Nick, Mustache. Thank you very much. Nick, this is a great uh, Azazel run right here. Oh, yeah? Did you get a Halo and then also better items than that? No, I've, I'm a Zazel, so... Oh, you're already good, then. I don't need them, because I'm already overpowered. Right. Say goodbye to Wiggle Worm. We've gotten Maggie's faith, and I need it right now. I'll take it. I'll probably not live through this run, actually, which is really sad. Man, if you had stuck with that other run, you'd have a pretty good chance. I that beat Mega Satan in, like, literally... You know that run fifth. sucked. <laughs> it, it really did not. It was one of the most powerful runs I've had recently, and I've had a lot of them, man. Real bad run. St. Bernard's milk, no space. Yep. Pretty much nailed you it. You can man. milk anything with nipples. Why not a St. Bernard? You know, they're full of milk. And basically, when they get to the person they're trying to save, they just milk them on the spot. That's the plot of the Beethoven movies. <laughs> yeah. Just people freezing to death. <laughs> Just milking their nipples out. Hey, NL, where's this Tournament of Shame video? It was up for like two minutes and I took it down. Well, apparently I uploaded the wrong heat number again. And as a result, I oh, have to re-upload the proper heat number. Oh. My Ipecac. mistake. Ipecac. Ipecac plus Monstrous Lung plus Piercing Shots. That sounds pretty good. I, there's not really a huge negative in there. The negative is I don't want to get trapped behind a place I'll explode in. You're not flying yet? Not flying. Wow. I'm flying, I'm dying. You have my permission to watch somebody else's uh, Heat 6 of Move or Die, nor or Heat 5, sorry. No, normally I would never uh, sign off on that, but today you can. You always have my permission to watch Northern Lions videos because I like him. You should always mo watch my version of the Roundtable podcast because it's the only one that's unmonetized. These freaking yeah, what's up with that? It's unmonetized because people are crowdfunding the content, man. We're making millions of dollars here. I get your sarcasm, but on the <laughs> only like they they've already paid for it, man. They don't have to pay twice with the ads over on uh, YouTube.com/slash Northern Lion. Oh, this is sweet too, Pulse Worm. Oh yeah. Can we drop the base? Yeah? You should see what's happening, then that would have made sense. I'm not going to tell you who won the tournament. you got to watch the videos for that. I'll tell you, but not here. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll tell you later in a video. All right. That, oh, I get it. That makes sense. <laughs> it's not actually that, that controversial. <laughs> Able strats enabled. Dude, every run you have to pull out your able strats because there's like an eighty percent chance you get able. I'm willing and able. Yeah, are you ready though? No. Nope. Excuse me. Actually, didn't mean to blow up my blood or uh, not blood bank the uh, donation machine there. I didn't mean to blow up my blood. <laughs> that kind of sounds like an Isaac item, to be honest. Happens to the best of us, yeah. There's a blood launcher in Nuclear Throne. Wait, really? Yeah. That's awesome. I don't really know what it does. <laughs> because the, the first time I got it, I was like, that'll kill me. Whenever I pick up a new item in a Vlambear game, that'll kill me. So I just fire it off into the uh, into the abyss. And then, it's really only the disc gun that kills you, though. Nah. Like, the if you know how to use them, you can get away with it. But there is always a chance that, like, a grenade launcher or a toxic launcher or a bazooka, you know, goes, oh, yeah. goes south on you. Such a good game, though. Usually we like when things go south on us, but not like that. No, you got south confused with down. Oh. Happens, happens a lot. People get their, their cardinal directions confused. South does not imply down. Right. Sometimes south is down, but that's like in a topographical sense. It's a complete coincidence when it happens. Yeah. 
Precisely. And you should never think otherwise. Christmas 95, thank you very much for the subscription. Blood Launcher, ironically enough, is actually the only gun that does not have a chance to hurt you, I think. <laughs> Apparently, that. like, it, it's like a grenade launcher, sort of, but the, the bullets don't hurt you, so it's actually... People were telling me I should have taken it. There's a lot of weapons in that game, man. I find myself so often being like, that looks like a cool weapon, but I think I'm just going to do revolver shotgun. Forever. Predictable. It is, but then you get into the, the middle section of the game, it's not good enough anymore. you got to get some, some better stuff. Do I take the Yara rune? Do I take the yes. credit card? Or do I take nope. the High Priestess? What, what floor are you on? On Depths 2. Oh, apparently it hurts you if you're out of ammo. Uh, and you, you still have Book of Belial? Yeah. You gotta, you gotta take the arrow rune. I took the arrow rune. You got it. Like, unless you're super close to death. I'm pretty close. Gotta... I mean, but I have three hearts now, so. Ah, oh, that's small still, rock. That's definitely arrow run territory still. All right, mom's dead. Definitely taking the boulder right here. Oh, two black hearts. That's exactly what I needed right now. I think we're gonna leave this uh, classy young baby there. Sorry, what? This is uh, Sister Maggie. Mm. Particularly interested in picking it up right now. Do Bloodborne Invasions, please. Yo, I actually don't know how to do Bloodborne Invasions, but I... Is it... You can only... Oh, wait, never mind. I do know how to do Bloodborne Invasions. I forgot that I knew how, because every item is named, like, the fucking Horcrux of Sylvester. Now I remember. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> fucking Sylvester. I love, I love Bloodborne. I love From Software. Sometimes I do wish that they were just like, okay, you know what? This item's gonna be called the Invasion. Like, the Invasion Orb, basically. Red Eye... Red Eye Cracked Orb. Red Eye Orb. That's basically, pretty, pretty close. Basically says Invasion Orb on it. Uh, yeah. You got me. It's alright. Once, once you learn what it is, then you know what it is. But that kind of isn't really fair. We could do Chalice Dungeons together. They're random. Yeah, I've uh, probably heard that. I, I'm aware of that mechanic. I've never done them yet, but I'm I'm aware of what they do. I'm excited for it, man. I haven't done one either, so could be a first. Don't, don't ever tell me to look for a tinted rock. Every time people say get this tinted rock, I purposely miss nine tinted rocks in the future. That's the tax that you, you're sure. forcing me to pay. <laughs> <laughs> first time catching the NLSS. Well, welcome, Niflheim. You picked a terrible show. <laughs> it's just in general. It's a bad stream. You shouldn't watch it. Yeah. Commander Seawolf and Cupcake Uniform, thank you very much for the subscription, by the way. Much appreciated. Pretty fly. Balls of Steel. Oh, I like that. Balls of Steel is a bad pill. It's not good. Yeah, I can see why you would say that. Because you should be alive. You should always be at the HP cap, so Balls of Steel is just not very good. It's really a waste of your time talking about it and everything. Whoa, okay. No, I'm just agreeing with you. That's how bad it is. Nick, who do you think is going to win the NHL regulation hockey game tonight between... The Canucks. The Vancouver Canucks and the LA Kings. I didn't think you'd say that. Thank you very much, Nick. It's obvious. You don't have to ask. It's obvious. I, I wish, man. I wish. Who's Fox betting on? Probably the Jets, even though they're not playing. <laughs> the Jets. <laughs> the Jets, like, they're going to win. What does he know? The Winnipeg Jets are a little better than the New York Jets. Still. LA, Jets. LA because the Canucks blow. Look, I'm not gonna deny that, but maybe they'll blow less tonight. Yeah, blowing is a good thing to do sometimes, but blowing is less it? is better. Oh, geez, you know, came over the top with your stance on that one. Guppy? Nope. Dude, you should not. get a transformation for getting more than three pretty flies. Yeah, you like, that turn be into how a you get fly? to the freaking fly thing. Lord of the Flies. Yeah, that the freaking fly thing, you know. Oh, I'm with you, man. I don't know why I didn't use my Yarrow rune before. Uh, let's take... save for the chest, man. Oh, you're right. Oh, jeez. I didn't use it. You still got it? Yeah. Oh, thank God. I got plenty of keys. Might as well. I'm not saying the Canucks are a good team, but I, I got to I got to cheer for the the home team, you know. Well, I, they're my second favorite team. You gotta root, root, root. Because if they don't yeah. win, it's a shame. That's baseball. We don't talk about that. You guys have baseball in Canada, don't you? Yeah, you know, 
it's pretty close. I'll just, you know, hop on a jet, take a five-hour flight to Toronto, and then go catch an eight-hour Blue Jays game and then fly back. I wouldn't go for the Blue Jays if you're going to. No offense to the Blue Jays. It's the only it's the only Canadian team in the MLB, man. You should go go watch a Red Sox game. You'd like that. I've seen a Red Sox game. Guess who they were the playing? The Blue Jays. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just accepted that uh, professional baseball is not the sport for me. Oh, that's okay. They, they mostly because I went on drafted. Still holding out hope, you know. There's a couple of sports that I could still, uh, I could still excel in. Like if the darts league does a draft, there's a chance I can get in there. Bowling. I got the build for it. Yeah. I don't know, man. Get that bowling hype. Pete Weber looks like he could put me in a full Nelson. I mean, you gotta be tough to throw that ball all day. Yeah, man. Hey, Rob Co. One Hundred and Fifty. Thank you for the subscription, my friend. You should hop on a jet and catch a rock game. I actually don't know what that means. I think they want you to smoke crack. Is that what it is? I don't know. What does the rock play these days? Is he in a major league sports team? He's in uh, Furious 7, which set records for having like a $140 million. Uh... The rock was not Vin Diesel. They're both in it, man. Oh my god, it's an all-star cast. You know that? I'm pretty sure the Fast and the Furious movies are basically like what the Expendables are supposed to be. But good? Yeah, uh, like like good, kind of cheesy ish. but self-aware action. That's what Expendables are supposed to be. Yeah, but they, they didn't really land on it. Instead, it takes itself too seriously, man. I fell asleep. There was so much machine gun fire. Eventually, it just sounded like rainfall. very peaceful. <laughs> I found it to be quite peaceful, honestly. Oh, the left hand. I should take that. Good. I mean, it's actually pretty good. There's something I'm supposed to do with it, though, when I get to a certain point. I can't remember ever where that is or why. Yo, scumfuckers, I'm gonna take the Yara rune. I'm just gonna steal an item from Boss Rush first to make everybody as angry as possible. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. I hate you, Shuckle. Don't, don't kill me. Okay. Shuckle? Yeah, Turtle Man. Turtle Man? You don't know Chuckles? Oh, Chat, God. what is this guy talking about? Can you translate it oh, into God. English so you can communicate Shuckles! ideas? Shuckles! How's it going, Kate? Oh, get this cat's tail out of my face. One of them had diarrhea recently. It's like a diarrhea hairbrush. That's sexy. It's a great Twitch name, too. You alright? A little sneezy there? <laughs> oh, yeah. How many boss fights can I fit into one episode? This many. You should be thankful this run's taking a little longer than usual, Chad, because it'll cut into goofball time. Are you okay? You take your allergy pill? You gotta take your allergy pill, girl. That's what they're there for. How's it going, Nick? Fighting the heart right now. Yeah? I might kill it in two shots. Kill it in two shots. It's pretty impressive, I guess. I hope I get to go to the chest. First, we you gotta got beat that, the cathedral. You got that Yara rune, and you just two shot uh, mom, so I, their mom's heart, so I would expect that you got a pretty good shot at it, man. Yeah, if I can get to Isaac, I'll be pretty happy. I just don't have mapping, so I don't know. I gotta get through rooms. How much HP you got, dog? Two. Yeah, that's not that's not that much. No. Nope. Just gonna play it like as if I'm the lost right now, which means basically I'm just gonna lose. Oh my god, I hit myself. It's not the time for that. Oh, not this room. <laughs> is it is super envy? Oh my god, I think it is. Like fifty super envy. Hang on. Yeah, it is, but I actually killed three of them in one shot, so that makes it a lot better. You can bomb your way out of it, too. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's so many things. And all my shots explode, so I don't know where I can stand. You gotta throw away one key every round. Oh, I hate this room. 
You got it, man. Don't even Tell sweat it. Tell Edmund on your next meeting to remove this room, please. I told him to make it so there's a curse where that's the only room that spawns. Oh, my God. That would and be a seed, actually. And the curse is called No Curse. Dan Giesling has just subscribed. <laughs> I love that um, guy. Obviously, somebody trying to imitate the best Big Brother player in history, Dan Giesling. Uh, we don't support that kind of impersonation here, but uh, thank you nonetheless for lining my pockets with your blood money. Wow. Thank you, Casey, also for the subscription. Guppy? Guppy? <sighs> Guppy, no gup. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! He was right, you guys. Kate passed it right over here. Sorry, what? Kate passed the sneezes all the way over me. Yeah, man. Sneezes are contagious. So are yawns. So, remember I had a throat infection like a week ago? Yeah, I'm glad you're better. I am better, but I'm pretty sure I actually gave myself pink eye with wow. my throat infection. Like, my eyes actually, for the last like four or five days, I've looked like patient zero from like a 28 days slash weeks later Aww. film. That sucks. I made it to the it, chest, though. At this point, I mostly just find it hilarious that it's the illness that never ends. This is the illness that never ends. So when do I use the air rune? Do I do it before or after I open the chest? Oh, definitely before, man. It's not a trap, right? Pink eye is not caused just by rubbing poop in your eyes, you freaking knocked up motherfuckers. Go read some EPUB health or something. pregnant? <laughs> knocked up the film. is It spread the misinformation okay. that pink eye the conjunctivitis is exclusively wow. passed by, uh, you know, fecal exposure. A lot of bad items that I just got out of all of these eight chests. You know what I mean? So I got, what is this, Kane's Eye, uh, Monster Manuel, Headless Baby, Spider Nest, whatever. What uh, the fuck Lazarus. is Spider the, Nest? It's a ball of spiders, right? The Is that Daddy Longlegs? That's really good! Alright, that one's fine, but uh, Ipecac, wait, uh, no, Chemical Peel, Loki's Horns, and uh, Shoop de Whoop. It's mostly garbage. I mean, it could be better, but I think you're going a little over the top with it right, here. Taking Lazarus Rags first. Daddy Long Legs. Chemical Peel. Loki's Horn. That'll probably get me killed, actually, so that was probably a bad idea. And in oh, Loki's Horn's Ipecac is a little, little funky. Let's, it's a risk. Let's shoot it once in the middle of the room and see if I die. Uh, charge time's a little bit lackluster. Alright. Here we go. That's triple shot. Yeah, I always forget because there's so many freaking items that just look like You thought eye. it was a freaking Kane's inner eye or Kane's nearsighted friend that it ended up being triple shot? I just forget. You, you got oh. some great items there, dog. I got a couple of them. I'm glad I had the rune. That helped a lot. Without the rune, I think that would have been a much worse situation. Yeah, man. Now take shoot the whoop, too. I got a book of a lie. Why would I take that? Takes me to shoot the whoop's better. That's not true. It's 100%. It's new meta, man. They buffed it. No. I don't think you're being truthful right now. I'm full of truth at all times. It's just whether or not I choose to display the said truth. Don't tell me it helps to grow hair on my head, Kate. I don't even know what you're talking <laughs> about. Your death slander. It's slanderous. Did you know I'm playing as you in Bloodborne? Yeah. Yeah. Because I painted an egg with your head the other day, and it was really great. Yeah. I made a video about it. I, I didn't realize, like, Bloodborne as well. There's. The way the blood works is when you get covered in it, like, parts that are covered by clothing, if you take the clothes off, it puts a perfect line. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool effect. Where the actually. blood was. So, like, I painted your head by having a hat getting covered in blood and taking it off. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. So now I just want to find other exotic hats with various, like, holes and polka dots and shit in it. So I can just paint the egg in different ways. I'm gonna make a YouTube series about it. It's fine by me. You, you have my, um... You have my consent for that. Dude, making myself in Bloodborne was the easiest shit of all time. It was it's easy. like, It's just, like, palest face, bald hairstyle, <laughs> light beard. And you pretty like... <laughs> That's what I did! <laughs> The, the glasses that are that don't look like they came out of the Matrix. And then you yep, pretty much got did it. did that too. I also made them not black or white. I made them kind of gray. Oh, yeah? I, I went with black, but it's too shiny. So they come across mm. as, like, super glossy, which is not right. But I'm pretty sure our characters probably look 
pretty similar. Somebody in my chat was worried that I didn't have your permission to use, like, your likeness in the game. Oh, I'd be pissed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Probably sue your bitch ass again. <laughs> Not again! <laughs> we just finished the last lawsuit. Hookworm is shit. Drop it. Hookworm is the best trinket in the game. I'm gonna drop you. It is pretty good. What's that like about Hookworm? Chat's being dishonest. They want me to pick up, uh the left hand so that I can forget to drop the left hand. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing earlier. Oh, found the boss. Nice. Alright, two hearts, lots of power, let's do this. I think Book of Belial effect should stack if you can use it more than once in a room. I think it should as well, actually. Just about the smartest Seems goddamn thing you've ever said about this game. <laughs> really excessive, but it is a thing that should be. Yeah, man, I think I think if you have the battery and you save two Book of Belial charges, why not? It would be incredibly powerful, but it's also like, it's a niche situation. I've done it. I've beaten the game. Congrats, Nick. Uh, feel free to take uh, maybe like three or four minutes as like a victory lap. That sounds really good, actually. I think I will. I'm uh, Azazel on the cathedral right now.